Hey what's up guys, I am Sam, today I am here to show you how you can create this effect where zoom is chasing the flash and you can only see the lightning, they are one after another head to head, actually head to tail and you know what I am talking about so let's get started. So I am just gonna delete all this, make a new composition 1280 by 720 and around 30 seconds long, ok. Now for this effect I am gonna use a third party plugin called trap code particular so you can download the plugin from the description the link will be there and let's make a new solid uh, black solid and we can name it particles and hit ok and go to effect trap code particular and right away you can see the particles in there now what you wanna do is make a new light now make sure to rename it as emitter, this is really very important. So we'll name it as emitter, hit OK and also make sure that it is a point light. Ok, so now we'll go to particular and open the emitter settings and go to emitter type and select lights. So what this will do is emit the particles from the position of the light like that. Ok so for now it's good, now we'll come down to the particle settings and there are a bunch of options that you can select from over here but for this example we're gonna make our own particle type so what we're gonna do is make a new composition which will be like 50 by 100 and it will be one frame long and hit ok. I'm gonna make a new white solid, hit ok and take the pen tool and create a mask or a shape like a streak. Something like this. And then we'll hit T for opacity and set the opacity to 10. And then we'll duplicate the layer, move it down, maybe scale the mask down. And we'll duplicate it once more and move it above and we'll do it once more for the last time and place it somewhere over here. Alright that's it. So we can rename this composition to particle and we'll bring it to our main comp and set the eye switch off and then go to the particle settings and the particle type you're gonna select sprite and you can open the texture settings and in the layer we can select our particle layer and now what we need to do in order to see the trail or the lightning in this case is to animate the lights position. So we can select the light, hit P and instead of animating it by hand we can use an expression. So we can alt click on the stopwatch and type wiggle open parenthesis 0.5, 650 and close parenthesis. Now what this says is wiggle the lights position. 0.5 times in a second to 650 pixels. So you can see that the light starts moving like hell and then we'll go to the particular layer and what we need to do is set the time sampling to start at birth loop because we don't want the particles to take birth once they emit. What? What? Did, did, did that make sense? I'll just leave it. Okay. So what we'll do is increase the particles per second so you kinda start seeing the particles and we can increase the size too and right now it looks hell crazy. So what we'll do is set all these values to zero. So you get something like this. Yeah, we're coming close. Alright, so now what we'll do is come down. As you can see the trail is too long. So what we're gonna do is set the life to 2. That reduces the life of the particles and then we can go down and open size over life and we'll just make some space, make some room and we'll select this option which is like a mountain or a slant and click on it. So what it does is makes this graph of the size of the particles over life. So at the start the particles will be 100% and when it comes to the end the death the particles will be the smallest as you can see right here. So this looks okay for now and what else we can do is go to opacity and decrease the opacity 
so that when the particles intersect with each other like in this case we can see some depth so we can set it to like 50 or something okay alright so what we'll do is maybe increase the particle size a bit more maybe and increase the particles per second to maybe 9, 10 or 900 alright so now we'll add some color to this so we'll create a new adjustment layer and then we can go to effect color correction and hue and saturation and we can enable the colorize option and we can set the colorize saturation to 100% and there you go we see a problem this is not taking effect the color correction is not taking effect on the layer so what we need to do is create a new solid a black solid and bring it to the bottom and there you go the color correction takes effect so right now we're working on the flash so we'll make it like orange and yellow kind of thing somewhat like that and maybe just play with these values but this looks okay for now and we can also go to effect color correction curves and start playing with the curves to get the look that we want Right, that looks good. Alright, so what we'll do is take the flash layer, duplicate it, and we can rename it Zoom. And since this is Zoom, we go to the adjustment layer, and go to the color correction, and we'll make it blue. Make it a light blue kind of thing. Maybe 200, maybe 190, yes. That looks good. Okay, so now we have a flash and our Zoom particles. But the problem is that they're still not having a chase scene. So we'll make a new composition. 1280 by 20 and 10 seconds long. And we'll rename it the chase. And hit OK. And we'll bring a flash and zoom layer in here. So right now you can only see one layer. So we'll make sure that these both layers transfer mode is set to add. And now you can see both the layers on top of one another. So what we'll do is make flash ahead of zoom. So what we'll do is take this layer and shift it ahead. And now we start to see that effect somewhat close. Alright, so this looks a bit weird. I mean this part. So what we need to do to fix this is go to the zoom comp and we can go to the particle settings and size over life we'll select this mountain or valley kind of thing which is like from down to up and then down again so that will make it somewhat like this alright so right now they're running too slow so what we'll do is take both of these layers right click go to time time stretch and as we made this composition 10 seconds long we'll make the new duration or we can set this to maybe 33.3 yes 10 seconds and no math Okay, and then you can start tweaking the layers to match up with the scene. And one thing that we might do is, I mean like they're too close to the camera. So what we'll do is go to the flash layer and make a new camera. And maybe 35 millimeter. hit OK. And we can hit AA. And we can decrease the zoom to maybe 800. And then we can copy this camera and paste it to zoom. So make sure that whatever change you do to the flash layer or the flash composition, you make the same changes to the zoom composition in order to keep them intact. So right now they're not too appealing. So what we'll do is add some glow. So first off, we'll duplicate these layers. Control D. And, and go to effect. Blur and Sharpen and Fast Blur. And we'll increase the blurriness a bit. Copy this effect and paste it to the flash layer too. And kind of play with the blurriness. And you can also add the glow itself on the layer. So you can go to Effect, Stylize, Glow. And we can add some glow in there. Copy and paste it like that. Alright, so let's see what we have here.
the effect is still too slow so we can just take all these compositions time time stretch maybe make it five seconds long and also make sure that we align these all right so that looks pretty good now what else you can do is go to the particle layer and go to the physics and go to the air and open the turbulence field and then you can add some waviness in the streak or the lightning to so increase the effect size and also the effect position and make sure to do the same thing in the flash layer too so I'll basically suggest that you first complete one composition like the flash composition and when you're satisfied duplicate the layer all right so that looks good too I mean this step is optional you can have the waviness or not have the waviness it will still look good now what if you want to animate the position of the lightning by yourself so in that case what you might need to do is go to the layer and delete the emitter which is the light and make a new null object you can toggle the switches and set this to 3d and hit position and then open the emitter and you can set this to a point and alt click on the position x y take the pick whip go up and select the position alt click on the position z take the pick whip and go up and take the x y z position and select it and hit OK. Now what this is doing is instead of following the position of the light, the particles are following the position of the null. So now you can freely animate it. So you can set a keyframe on the stopwatch, move ahead and move the particles like that, wherever you want, maybe in Z space too. And you have the full control just like that. Alright, that's it. I hope you all enjoyed and learned something new from this tutorial. As I always say, you should keep experimenting and play with the values to get the look that you want. So if you have any questions or queries or problems or anything, you can drop a comment below. I try to answer each and every comment, so give me a thumbs up for that. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching and goodbye. Bam.